What is going on guys? It is Amir Hussein back with another video and I have some interesting stuff I want to go over today. I'm going to be buying an NFT that is pretty expensive for most of you guys. I want to show you guys why I'm buying this NFT. I'm going to show you the whole process, my conviction on what I think is going to happen in the future. And I also want to go over an NFT project that is not released yet that is going to be very new coming to the market very soon that I think is going to perform very well down the line. You know, I try to include at least one new project every video so you guys can stay updated and you guys can have a project to look at. So overall, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over a little bit of what my thoughts are on the market and everything. And besides that, let's go ahead and get started. So and so I'm just going to dive right in. I'm going to show you guys some analytics of what's been happening in the NFT space. And again, this is important for you guys to understand. A lot of you guys don't like looking at these analytics because they might be confusing, but you guys have to understand this stuff. It's going to help you time what you're doing. It's going to help you make a better decision when you're buying things or selling things. So, so just make sure that you're paying attention to what I'm talking about these analytics. So we can see here that the Ape Kids Club has been pretty much flying in the past 12 hours. They've had a bunch of sales, a bunch of volume. And their floor did dip a little bit after the reveal because the reveal was today. But again, that's what we see in every single project. And I do think the overall project future is going to be very bright because of what they have coming up. And the director of this project is a pretty solid dude. So I think that project will definitely be a great sustaining project. Also, we can see these game derivative projects. At least one of them has risen in floor price. Again, this is all a flippers market right now. We got to be very careful. I would not hold any of these projects. If you're going to hold any of these, your bags are going to be dumped on like... A dog taking a shit on the sidewalk so do not do that you're gonna get dumped on really hard so besides that we just see an overall little bit of an increase in volume in the market right now today and we can just take a look here at the open sea daily volume and i know you guys see this a lot but again this is important to go over so we can just take a look here really quick that we see pretty much the same volume as the past few days and then overall again i just been saying this i think there's going to be a new trend coming up i think it's going to be more related to metaverse nfts where we're going to see a boom in volume and if we do see ethereum spike then we might see a little bit of a downtrend but here we have elio trades one of the most reputable people in the whole crypto space the guy is a class act. I know he's respected all throughout the space. A lot of people like myself definitely look up to this guy. So he says that opportunities will never end in the crypto land. If we go bear even for a short while, I predict a triumph return of NFTs. And what that basically means is if we see a little bit of a dip in Ethereum and the crypto markets, then we're going to see a nice uptrend and maybe even a boom in the NFC space. And right now that would be very needed. We see a lot of the blue chips being sucked dry. We see a lot of them lose their volume, lose a lot of buyers. And overall, it's just been a little bit tough for those people who are in the blue chip projects. But again, I just told you guys, I'm going to be buying a potential blue chip NFT project off of OpenSea. I'm going to show you guys what the whole process is. The project I want to be buying into today, I'm going to be showing you guys everything, is Bears Deluxe. And I do have a few reasons why. And I'm going to go over why I'm doing this. I'm going to show you guys live me buying it. And then I'm also going to show like what decision I make on like what I buy and why I make that certain decision. So... Let's just go ahead and go over this. Bears Deluxe has actually two collections. And so why they have two uh, collections is because they're going to be moving over this older collection down to here. This collection has uh, ERC-1155 tokens, and they're going to be merging over those tokens to this collection, which actually has a new smart contract for ERC-721 tokens. And what that's going to do is enable people to actually do the staking mechanism where they can get the tokens and all that you know, income, whatever, they get the free tokens every day. So that's what they're doing here. That's why this is happening. And it is causing a little bit of volume and a little bit of buzz around the Bears Deluxe right now. So for me right now, I'm not going to be buying into the new collection, even though the floor price is lower and you probably ask why. And that is because I have done my research. And so buying one of the NFTs off of the older contract, all you got to do is burn this token. They show you the whole process and then they're going to be able to merge it onto the new collection. So there's no worries there. But, but when you buy from the older collection, what you're actually going to be able to do is get more of those honey tokens. So from the Bears Deluxe collection, their token is called the Honey Token. And on their roadmap, they've pretty much fulfilled everything that they've said. So I'm pretty confident that they're going to fulfill their roadmap. And then here on their website, you can just see their entire roadmap right here. They've pretty much filled out all the phases. Again, I've said they've delivered pretty much everything. And now we're in phase four. They just did phase three where they're going to be, you know, merging the contract. So and again, guys, a lot of this information and like where I got some of this from was from a YouTuber called Eddie's Kongs. If we see here... 
uh, you're probably going to think like, oh, it doesn't matter which one you buy. But yes, it does. Because I don't want to buy one of these from the floor if they're not rare. I want to make sure I'm buying into a rare Bears Deluxe. So as we can see here, there's 6,900 items. So what I want to do is try to find the rarest one that's closest to the floor price. So I want to get a good deal, right? And so what I did already is obviously I did my research before this video and I already searched up this Bears Deluxe as to be a rare one. And I did that. I went on Rarity Tools typed in the number and then I looked it up and I can see the rarity rank here is in the top 10%. And when your NFT is in the top 10%, you can sell it well above the floor price, which is definitely something that you want to do because, you know, if you're only paying a little bit more and you can sell for a lot more after then that's definitely a great deal. And so when I burn the old bear, migrate it to the new contract and get the new bear, I'm going to be able to sell my NFT for a lot more than I bought it for probably. So that's definitely what I'm going to be doing. And again, this is not a flip play. This is definitely a long-term play. I definitely see myself sitting on some nice profit in the future with this project. And these guys have just delivered over and over. So this is a great working business model. These guys have a lot in common to like what the cyber Kongs are doing. And just like the further utility down their roadmap is really good. I'm going to be getting those honey tokens. They're going to be having the hives deluxe, the bees deluxe. They're going to be having a lot of things and you're going to be able to get the um, bears deluxe vx on the metaverse so they're going to be doing similar things to what the kongs did so they're doing a lot of great things that is my whole idea and the whole reason why i'm getting into this project so i'm going to be buying this in front of you guys right here and usually in videos i don't like to show like me doing live buying just because i don't want my wallet being tracked but that's fine because i am using one of my other wallets it's called ice.eth you guys can go ahead and search it up that's one of my other wallets. I have eight different wallets. So if you guys think you can track me or wallet track me, you can't do that. <laughs> my funds are spread all around the place. So let's go ahead and confirm this purchase for this Bears Deluxe. Okay, as we can see here, this Bears Deluxe is complete. We're done. We got it. And also just to mention for some like blue chip NFT projects that I'm going to be looking for in the future, I'm definitely going to be buying a Cyber Kongs very soon. And there's been some really good deals on Cyber Kongs. So what I want to do here is obviously get another good deal. I'm going to be doing the same thing. Again, this one is a little bit more pricey, but this is an extremely valuable project. You're able to access a lot of benefits by being a cyber Kong. So, so if you guys do have some extra capital, definitely look into a cyber Kong. If you do not have that capital, then I told you guys so many times, stack your ETH, save up your money, sell those things that you don't need. A lot of you guys have things that you don't need. You guys have shoes. You guys have a expensive watch. A lot of you guys have possessions that are really worth nothing. And down the line, they're not going to be worth anything so and just a little bit for like a brother to brother or brother to sister word to you guys don't buy stupid shit that you don't need buy things that are going to help you down the line in the future or things that you think will help you down the line in the future don't buy things that you want buy things that you need and definitely investing into your future is something that you need again none of these nfts are promised but what the utility brings inside of them is definitely something that can help you down the line so even if these projects don't do well their utility will help you and help you progress and whatever the hell you need to do in your life so Find a project that has the utility that benefits your lifestyle or benefits the things that you need and go ahead and invest into those projects. The NFT space is one of the greatest places in the world. People are constantly helping each other. And even you guys see, like, I'm just a little guy, but you guys can see the amount of money I give away on my Twitter, even for a guy with like smaller capital. So definitely go follow my Twitter. I'm doing like a shit ton of giveaways there. It's going to be in the link in the description down below. Make sure to go follow my Twitter. And also just for this video, fuck it. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be doing a 0.1 ETH giveaway. All you got to do is subscribe down below, turn on the bell notification, like the video, and then comment and tell me what you want to see in my next video. That helps me out a lot. And I genuinely appreciate all the comments. I'm reading as much of the comments as I can. So overall guys, that's what you guys should be doing right now. So let's go ahead and get into the next project that is going to be explosive that I think is going to have a great future. And the project that I think is going to explode for a few reasons is Savage Wolves. And again, this is not financial advice. This is not paid promotion. I don't take paid promotions. I have no incentive to talk about this whatsoever. But Savage Wolves, in my opinion, is probably going to go crazy. And this is because they have a 1K supply. And the amount of demand and the amount of people that are trying to get in their Discord is crazy. And they're playing some type of funny game to like be able to get into the Discord. So I think that's pretty unique. And they're obviously, you know, going to have a token utility game. But this project is obviously super high risk. I don't think they're docs whatsoever. So again, very high risk. But I think they've been developing something. I did speak to them on DM once about a whitelist giveaway. And we did that. But besides that, I have no contact with these guys. I don't know anything about them. So very high risk. But here's what their art looks like. 
I think it's pretty cool. And it's similar to the Divine Wolves project, except these guys have a way lower supply and also they have just tons of demand. So you can see here, I am whitelisted. I just want to put that out there. And that is because I did a Twitter giveaway for them. So besides that, I have literally nothing to talk about for this project. I don't know anything about them besides what they have shown here. And we can see that their server is actually closed for anyone coming to these other channels. So if you are getting into their server, you're going to be waiting into the queue. And there is ways to get like whitelisted and stuff and like be like an OG wolf or whatever like that. But we can see here there's pretty much 10,000 people in the queue. That's insane. There's only 101 people whitelisted. So I think this project is like thinking of long term development and everything. But we can just see here that the amount of engagement is wild. And uh, I think overall, guys, this project is just going to be explosive if everything goes right, if the team performs well. And I really do hope the team doxes herself to make people feel a little bit more safe. But besides that, if everything goes well, I think this project can go insane. So and again, just be on the lookout for this, guys. I'm not saying go buy it or anything, but definitely go ahead and try to get whitelisted for this. This is something that if everything does go right, if the contract does not get exploited, if the team, you know, stays true to themselves, if they fulfill all their promises, this will be a massive gain. I'm talking about around 10 to 20, maybe 30 X gains right off the bat. So we don't know the mint price. We don't really know anything yet. But again, I'm just putting it out there. This is my opinion, not financial advice. Awesome, cool project, cool concept, guys. I really like those types of projects that have super low supply and high demand. I tell you guys that all the time. But besides that, guys, um, overall in the NFC space, Things are looking, you know, a little bit more on the fearful side. People are a little bit scared with what's going to happen because of the Ethereum price and no one knows where it's going to go. You know, there's all these analysts that claim they know everything about these things, but they've been proved wrong over and over again. So we just got to be careful. Don't really trust anyone. Make your own decisions out here. The best way to live in a decentralized world. The whole point of this Web3 is to be decentralized. The only way to truly live in a decentralized world or a decentralized web is to where people can actually think for themselves. And by that way, there's no single entity that is controlling people. So just keep that in mind, guys. You know, that's my food for thought for today. A little bit of a lesson for you guys today. So but besides that, guys, make sure you go follow my Twitter again. I'm like talking about like crazy shit on here. We talk about the coolest things. Here's like some giveaways we're doing all the time, giving away tons of money. Make sure to go do that. Everything is in the link description down below. And also, don't forget to go subscribe down below. Absolutely annihilate the living shit out of the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It helps me out. It helps you guys get to these videos first so you can see those giveaways first. And also, leave a comment, guys. Tell me what you want to see in these videos next and give a thumbs up, guys. Besides that, thank you so much for everything. I'm going to be uploading more of these videos. Tell me if you guys like this type of video. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like it. I'll see you guys in the 